All right, folks, we are here at the rally to support the natural heterosexual family. I believe I got that right. It is a mouthful. It's a whole thing. But uh, we are here in Sandy, Oregon. A local church put this rally on. Obviously, you can see behind me there's a lot of Proud Boys. Um, there's going to be some preaching. Uh, on this side, there's a lot of LGBTQ people and allies to kind of counter that. So uh, we're here. We're going to show it to you. Let's talk to some people. One thing that's definitely for sure, uh, with my motivation for being a part of SAFE, is making our town better than when we found it. Um, and part of doing that is calling out the parts that aren't so pretty. And showing people that aren't necessarily natives to this town that are going to be passing through, that there's more support for equality than there is for hate. And that's why you're here today, because you're making a public appearance to show your support to show you celebrate the moral truth of the Word of God that teaches us to live in the will of God, the natural heterosexual family. I do not question whether or not it is possible for same-sex couples to love each other. I don't question that. I do not question whether or not there can be same-sex couples that are committed to each other and have affection for each other and be kind to each other and have sexual intimacy with each other. I don't question that. But the truth is this. Tragically, the love of same-sex couples is in darkness. Why do you think there's so much tension between the groups? This, they hate us having our own opinion about straight pride. Like, because we want to be just a support being straight. Like, the media hates it for some reason. I don't know why. But they could have gay pride parades. I don't give a fuck. They could do it. When you see, like, a happy gay couple, what do you, like, do you think that they need to find a, a straight partner? I think they need to find Jesus. What are you guys here for today? We are here for to support the local church. Um, they they had a mission, they had uh, uh, permits for this, and um, they were preaching on um, same-sex marriage and things like that. And uh, as far as Proud Boys go, because uh, you know, you guys know I'm a Proud Boy, uh, so we were asked. They they felt that there might be some threat as they tried to express their First Amendment rights, uh, that might be a counter-protest. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like some of your members don't like us, though? Because we get some hostility from you guys once in a while, you know? <laughs> Actually, we hate media. I can't stand the media. You know, I don't like being photographed. I don't like being the flavor of the month. One thing real quick. The reason that this guy keeps showing up in all our videos is because he's the vice president of the Portland Proud Boys. It's not super interesting why the Proud Boys are at this event. You kind of get their vibe by now. But what is interesting is what happens when we show up. When we crossed the street to film The Preacher, uh, we were pretty much immediately surrounded by Proud Boys. Both sides, on my back, behind my camera and back, kind of checking out what we were doing. Clearly, they're trying to intimidate us. They don't want us there. So what we do is we find this guy, Flip Todd, and we interview him. And once we interview him, the Proud Boys generally leave us alone. They clearly still don't like us, but they've seen the boss say, okay, these guys are good enough, and they back off. So we always find him, we try to get an interview with him, and that usually solves most of our problems. So, here's the preacher eating a hot dog. Oh. The name of the rally was Celebrating the Natural Heterosexual Family. Also, the subtitle was, We Are Standing Against Abortion. And then the third sub, the second subtitle to that was, uh, Standing for Our First Amendment Freedoms. Why is it important to share it? Why isn't it just like, let them do their thing? And like, do you, do you guys feel under attack? Or do you feel like you're, the marriage of a men and women are deteriorating? Like, what, what I guess is the reason to be, a, to be out, out and about with it? Yes. Jaden. Is this getting wet? So yes, I believe the natural family is under attack. Do you have gay friends or family? I have a family member right now that's struggling with that. What's the struggle for them? He views himself as gay. I have told him on the phone, that isn't your purpose. 
It's your potential, but it's not your purpose. What's his purpose? To grow up into a young man, to become a husband and a father. I was taught that um, Jesus loves everybody regardless of who you are. So when I see Christians out here saying, spouting like hateful messages, like you're not natural if you're gay, um, it's really hurtful. And I just hope that we um, can teach our youth that, you know, Jesus loves you no matter who you are. People in Sandy are afraid to show their um, gay pride. And I don't think that should be the case anymore. <laughs> So do you think being, a gay, being gay is a choice? It is a choice. I believe that firmly. Um, I have personally have had some bisexual interactions once upon a time, right? And I have repented from those sins because I know that they're wrong. If you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will go to hell.